Hello! It's a boy Earl. How's it going? Captain of the Hamilton Tour Cats back again, but this time we're in UMPL D League. Now, for those who have been watching or you've been following my content all, uh, thank you, by the way. I appreciate it. We've been made a, a long way. Not in terms of subscribers and likes and views, but just in terms of like me getting used to this whole situation of draft battling and making new friends, enjoying making content, having a lot of fun. And thank you for those who have been supporting. You guys are the real homies. Uh, we are in UMPL Academy right now. We're actually nearing the end, hoping to make it into playoffs. This is uh, this is <laughs> where I'm recording at. I think we're, I'm about to do my Week 8 match pretty soon. Um, we're in the D-League, the uh, section, which means it's uh, for a showdown instead of Wi-Fi. Easier to record as well because it's just on uh, the showdown website instead of Wi-Fi and setting it up on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So that'd be really nice. Uh, this will be my first ever showdown draft league as well. So I'm pretty interested to uh, try out and see how it goes. So we're continuing with our main team, Hamilton Tour Cats, back again once again, of course. Uh, season 3 D-League as well, showdown. And as you see below, here is our roster, our lovely roster. Um, I'll go through them in a few minutes, uh, much more deeply, of course. But I would like to go um, talk about some of the rules. Uh, a lot of the rules would be the exact same as uh, Academy was. So basically, Pokemon were put into 20 different tiers. We have 150 points, as you see below, and we have to draft uh, 10 to 12 Pokemon as well. Uh, level 100 uh, for the level system, of course, because we'll be on Showdown. Um, typical Showdown rules as well. Uh, some stuff are banned, such as like Shed Tail, Last Respects, five Revival Blessing, Swagger, Flatter, Track, etc, etc. Uh, Terrestrialization, we got uh, 18 points uh, to use on Terra Captains. It's like a it's like a mid to low tier Terra Captain setting as Academy was as well. So anything uh, 12 points under could be used as Terra Captain. And basically, uh, if you want to use like, let's say, the Toxtricity, who I have as a Terra Captain, uh, he's going to be worth um, 11 Terra points out of 18 so i got 18 to work with and as you see here i use that 18 up with other terror captains and in terms of draft order we were number two <laughs> which was really really very 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 nice uh and we're in the larry division which is the the best division peak division larry larry the best elite four and best gym leader of the paldia region in my opinion i'm sure with a lot of people's opinions as well very lucky number two draft so uh we always had uh the very very good end of picking mons uh which is super nice uh last few times where we've been drafting we've been stuck in the middle and that hasn't been too too fun but uh this has been very very nice and a nice change overall as you see with the roster below i wanted to try something different i wanted to go with a rain team now you may see and some people may say it's like oh uh you could probably there's a lot of other pokemon you could use better for a rain team for sure absolutely and there's one thing you definitely see down below my speed Bruh. um is not great for this roster. I'm gonna be honest, that's the one thing I'm definitely lacking is speed, but I also managed to get a Trick Rumor. Now, originally, I was hoping to get uh, Bronzong to help with that as well, another Steel type as well, for resistances, and it would be our main um, Trick Rumor, but Dusclops, one of our Terror Captains, can do Trick Rumor, which is awesome, and it's handy to have. And so I'm kind of looking for a mix between Rain and Trick Room in terms of our roster. Trick Room will help with our low speeds, and Rain helping with our water type mods, and mods take advantage of Rain, of course. I think we should start to go to um, go through our Pokemon here. Now, let's just move on over. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, first of all, we got Latios as our number one draft pick. Uh, we call him Air Boom. Air Boom. Based off the tag team of uh, Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne. I should preface also in the past with all my other Pokemon and rosters and teams. Um, all the nicknames are based off wrestlers because I'm a huge wrestling nerd slash dork. So if you don't like that, so be it. If you do, you know you're the real ones. You're the real ones. Um, so they're all based off wrestling uh, references, names, moves, whatever. It's kind of anything. So we're going to stick with that. Latios, uh, super fantastic in draft. I mean, what can I say? Uh, levitate so it doesn't it gets affected by ground time moves and spikes its speed is 110 special attack 130 you can do it mixed if you want it's got dragon dance for that but what's awesome is that its signature move lesser purge has been boosted this generation and it has a 50 percent chance of lowering i think i, I can't remember if it always has but a 50 percent chance of lowering this the uh, target special defense by one and it's boosted up to 95 power and it's 100 percent accurate only 8 pp which does suck a little bit but still, it's it's amazing. I mean, this thing has it all. Like you can run agility. Most most likely, we'll be running like Soul Dew or something to boost up 
our dragon type and psychic type moves, but it's got agility to boost speed. But Tom pass if we want to um, do agility or dragon or dragonites or something um, and send it off to another Pokemon. We got Calm Mind to set up Draco Meter, drop a Draco. I mean Joey Pokeyame signature thing, Dragon Dance if we want to do mix like Energy Beam, Energy Ball, Flip Turn. It got Flip Turn just generation, which is fantastic. It's like it's so good. Recover, Roar. Um, surf for coverage as well. Tailwind if we want our team to be faster. Thunder Wave if we want a bit of action against, which you usually do. And Weather Ball also works with um, our rain as well. And Trick if we want to mix up our items a little bit. I mean, this Pokemon is fantastic. It's so good as a Draftmon. I never used it. A lot of these Pokemons I haven't used. I try to tend. Uh, I tend to do that with a lot of my drafts. I like to use a uh, different Pokemon. Mm. God, shout it brisk. The best drink of all time. Please sponsor me. <laughs> First overall pick, very happy with it. When drafting Pokemon, I wanted to stick with kind of like this um, pattern I have whenever I do drafts is I want to get a Dragon Steel Fairy Core immediately. And it turns out that really works out because in terms of resistances and weaknesses and um, all that sort, um, this next Pokemon helps Latios a whole bunch. And that is Triple H Arcing King Gambit. <laughs> And uh, as you see, speed is horrible, but Dark Seal is a fantastic offensive typing. 100 base HP, 135 attack, and 120 defense. Nothing to laugh at at all. With fantastic abilities, as in Supreme Overlord. As in, um, if every Pokemon that's fainted in our party, we get a 10% attack boost uh, for King Gamut or Defiant. If we, if, like, let's say a, a Landorus comes in and hits us with Intimidate, we get uh, our attack sharply risen, so plus two. So technically, they'll make us plus one. But let's say if we have our defense drop, then we're at plus two attack, which is fantastic. King Gambit, it's so good, especially as a revenge killer. I mean, like, you can boost up with Sword Stance, and it's known for its Sucker Punch. I mean, Ketel Cleave, like, does not check for accuracy, which is awesome, so we don't have to worry about missing our moves. We got Low Kick. We got, um... Brick Break for coverage, which is amazing. Iron Head for, for uh, Steel Stab, of course. It's got rocks as well, so it gives us rocks users. Thunder Wave, again, for more hacks. Very, very, very good mod. I just traded in, in uh, my Academy uh, UMPL roster, so I'm assuming that's going to be actually pretty decent. I haven't used this. I think I'm actually going to use it for this week's battle, um, but I'm very, very, very excited to use this more often. I mean, its coverage moves are amazing. Um, I quite like it a lot. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope it uh, hope it turns out really nice. And to finish off that third of the core, we're going with Jillian Hall, our Primarina, uh, rocking both uh, Torrent and Liquid Voice. Liquid Voice making all sound type uh, moves, Water type instead. I mean, it's what do you what's wrong with a Water Fairy type? Not too much, of course. I mean, it does have some of its weaknesses, but I mean, like with 126 special attack and 116 um, special defense with 80 HP, it's not bad. It's pretty good. You can make a bulky, put like AV on it, you can put a calm mindset, you can do whatever. It has so much good moves, especially with uh, turning some of these um, voice based moves and sound based moves into um, water type moves. I was talking about earlier Aqua Jet for priority, flip turn for uh, momentum, which is amazing. It's got screens, it's got a calm mind, triple axle, probably won't use, <laughs> but sword power if we want to use that with setup, and all shadow ball. Psychic Noise, Coverage, I mean a bunch of good fairy moves such as Draining Kiss and Moon Blast of course. Parish Song, if we want to do something with that. I don't think it gets Whirlpool. It does, we could do some Whirlpool shenanigans with um, uh, Parish Song, which I actually have thought about. And Encore too, which is awesome, awesome. Uh, this Pokemon's fantastic. Like with these three, its coverage is amazing. I'm very excited to use these. And of course, this uh, will actually be very good with Rain as well, uh, along with the um, with Latios, if we want to use like Surf, for example, which is a kind of a mainstay on Latios, and also Flip Turn for momentum, that will really help out in uh, bringing it as well. Uh, next up, we got another slow ass Mon. Fourth pick will be Wardlow, our Rapierier, Solid Rock, helping out with uh, super effective attacks against us, such as like water and grass. Uh, we're still not going to take it super great, but we'll be taking it a lot better than if we don't have it. Lightning Rod, I mean. I say better in doubles, um, not not necessarily great uh, for singles because we're immune to um, electric as it is. Bulky, physically bulky wise, it's amazing. I mean, it's attack 140 is also fantastic. We can't take a special hit worth of shit. Um, get a little bit with that base HP, but another super slow mon. But it works 
in uh, rain, uh, works in Trick Room quite a bit. I mean, physical, it's amazing. Like, counter if we want to take a hit and dish it out. It's really nicely. Dragon Tail uh, for momentum as well. Just switch out something that's setting up or something we don't like. Um, a lot of good ground moves, rock moves. It's got good fire coverage, fighting coverage. It's got some ice coverage too, like Mega Horns, Iron Head. Like, this thing gets everything. What's so nice. Like this, You can do so much with this thing. The only thing is that it's slow and it's weak to uh, water and grass type moves immensely. Next up, we got Enzo Amore, our Toxtricity, our first Terra Captain, worth 11 points. And the three Terra Typings we're using the, for this mod is Electric, Normal, and Grass. Um, I was kind of up in the air for the third Terra Typing. Originally, I was thinking like Fire or Fairy or Psychic or something. I wasn't 100% sure. Um, I was between Fire or Grass by the end of the day, but Grass allows me to hit ground types, which is like, good, I need that. Um, because if it's one thing the spawn struggles with, it's ground types, because ground, uh, I mean, electric's, electric is immune to ground, and ground resists uh, poison as well. But works very well in rain as well. We could throw on like a choice scar for something, and then rock thunder, but we'll most likely uh, rock an overdrive, especially with Ponko Rock as an ability, doing really well. We're never going to use plus, and we're never really going to use technician either. I mean... This thing is just offensively, it's fantastic. Speed, again, not great, but rocking a choice scarf, or even if we want to do like a, a trick room set, it's going to be decent as well. 114 special attack is nothing to laugh at, is, uh, nothing to uh, scoff at, of course. Very, very good. We could do a specs, scarf, uh, throat spray, kind of whatever you need it. I mean, boom burst for Terra uh, normal is going to hit like a fucking truck. It's going to be so good. It's got encore as well. Uh, it's got a lot of good physical coverage, but it's a physical attack is it's it's that's not bad. 98 is not bad, so we can always do a mix set, but we're most likely doing uh, special as well. Uh, Volt switch for uh, momentum, of course. Trailblaze we can boost up our speed, but we also have uh, shift gear as well. If we uh, really helps out with our speed, and if we want to run a mix set as well, works really nicely. Uh, toxic spikes and toxic, so that's fantastic to get on the field and to do, uh, hinder a Pokemon as well. I'm really excited to use this Pokemon. I've always liked using Toxicity, and uh, haven't used it too much. I just think he's a cool Pokemon. He's part of the main team in Sword and Shield, and I'm hoping to use him again quite nicely. Next up, we got the main homie, one of the main homies for the rain team, and that's the rain setter of uh, Showdown Baby, besides a uh, competitive Pokemon, I should say, besides Kyogre, that man's not legal. And that's Kyrie, our Pelipper, uh, <laughs> Kyrie Sane, with Drizzle. Yes, a Gen 3 Mon with a good ability. I'm such a Gen 3 stand. I love Gen 3. Um, Pelipper, he's the homie, bro. I mean, base, I mean, stats, let's just be honest, not fantastic. 65 speed and 60 HP, not great. 100 defense, that's actually pretty good. And 95 special attack, that's not bad as well, especially if you're in rain. You'll be hitting hurricanes basically all the time, and, and a hurricane cannot miss in rain, which is fantastic. Hydro pump and surf, if we want to just, uh, use our typical um, water type moves, but chilling water is fantastic if we want to go against a physical threat of course knockoff is awesome and it gets u-turn for uh, momentum ice beam coverage is awesome as well um and tailwind if we want to boost up our team speed pelipper is basically the mainstay for uh starting a water type roster and we're lucky to have gotten that next up to boost our water team our sorry our rain team that's our second terra typing we got gunta our bear tick uh, formerly known as Valter, <laughs> the homie, Swift Swim, so doubles our speed, which isn't a whole ton in rain, but um, it could come very, very in handy, and also could work in a Trick Room team as well. Uh, I mean, put a Life Orb on this thing, Choice Band, Choice Scarf, uh, and this thing's going to be so good. Uh, three Terra uh, typings we chose for this is Water, Ice, and uh, Fighting. I was, I was between that and Steel... But its fighting coverage is so good. I mean, body press, brick break, close combat, uh, focus punch. We do we want to do a sub focus punch set, low kick even, and like superpower. Oh, we got bulk up to increase our uh, defense and our attack. But we also have sword stance, which is fantastic. Trailblaze to boost our speed, throw chop, uh, X scissor for coverage. This is fantastic. Stoned as well. Shadow claw, rock slide, like play rough. Um, we'll be mainly pro probably running uh, Ice Skull Crash, but if we want to do Loaded Dice Set, like we could do Ice Skull Spear. It's just a lot of good moves. And Aqua Jet for Priority is fantastic. It's so good. 
as a rain team or as like uh as a swift swimmer and if we're using it in snow as a snow as a slush rush like this pokemon hits like a fucking truck it's gonna be so good so i'm excited to use it again base 50 speed is not terrible uh I mean, it's it's not great but swift swim be adding that quite a bit uh 95 hp is good bulk uh especially so it's got decent bulk overall the only thing that's uh, hindering it is ice but we do have other different typings like water which will make it a lot more bulkier and 130 base attack is monstrous next up we got papa shango the dust sclops <laughs> um another another gen 3 pokemon i absolutely love now let's be honest we'll be running it if you light on this guy just to boost up it's already monstrous defenses uh up its hp is pretty garbage and speed is even worse but as a trick room setter it's not bad it's our third Terra Captain as well, uh, with the typings being Ghost, Poison, and Fairy. Just mainly defensive typings. I was between that and like Water and Steel as well. But I mean, overall, if we're up against um, something that we need specifically typing, a uh, specific uh, typing to go against, um, especially if we wanted to set up Trick Room, then we'll use that. But most likely, we'll be using the other two as Terra Captains. This is just as like a fail save if if we decide not to. Uh, ter uh, Terra or other two potential captains. I mean, overall, his defenses are amazing. His other stats are not great, but in terms of support, it's very good. It gets Disable, it gets Haze, it gets Hex with along with um, Will O Wisp Trick Room mainly. We got Trick as well, Taunt, Substitute, Shadow Snake Fire Priority. Uh, we could do a Resto Chesto or Resto like, like or Rest Sleep Talk type as well. Pain Split to get some HP back, Nightshade to get consistent damage, um, Memento. If we want to sacrifice ourselves, like like uh, our what little HP we got left or whatever, to severely hinder our opponent's Pokemon, Leech Life surprisingly, <laughs> but it's got some good coverage. So there's Ice Beam, Ice Punch, uh, Focus, uh, Future Sight. If we want to uh, set up a Psychic type move, that will come later in the uh, as well. Curse, if we want to get a little Swifty with it, uh, <laughs> reducing some HP. Otherwise, this thing is mainly just for Trick Room, mainly just for Trick Room, and for causing a bit of shenanigans status-wise, and to help our team out as well. Next up, we got Fawn Dongo, our Quaquavel, or Quaquavel, how you want to say it? Tomato, tomato, banana, banana, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> mainly going to be using Moxie, this is what makes the Mon work. Fantastic, and there's rain as well going to be boosting every water type move we have i mean what more can you say about this pokemon that people don't already know speed is not as it's okay but with uh aqua step it's going to be boosting our speed up every single time we use it which is fantastic fantastic attack ta attack stat at 120 and its bulk is not terrible which is great but i mean it gets so much like uh, like aqua step boosts our speed up we got brave bird for flying type coverage all the fighting attacks in the world most likely be using close combat of course knockoff which is fantastic ice spinner getting rid of terrain and hitting flying types which is fantastic and, and grass types which is awesome too we got roost to replenish hp we got substitute we got sword stance to set up triple axle which it just got recently too when it coming back wave crash if we just want to do a huge ass water type move that has a lot of damage and it gets both u-turn and flip turn which is fantastic like this mod is awesome it's so good run a life orb on this thing um leftovers to get some hp back every single time uh moxie aqua step is gonna be hand in hand it's gonna be so good uh choice scarf as well if you just want to run it that way like this mod is so fantastic it's so so good so so fantastic it's gonna be work mostly working out in the rain which is really really nice next we got the four based off the core we got fortress over here mainly gonna be using overcoat uh once again so it won't be affected by weather like i mean sandstorm sandstorm damage but let's be it's steel type so it doesn't affect anyways but power type moves and effects moves like spore fantastic to have it's it's just gonna be the physical tank basically um it's attack stat it's not bad which will be probably taken uh, we'll be using up more like gyro ball and iron head and heavy slam when it comes to steel type moves but speed is not great trick room is gonna be pretty good but it's mostly just gonna be the defensive wall i mean body press works hand in hand with um our defense which is very nice uh we got counter if we want to take a physical type hit and hit it back perfect curse as well to boost up our attack and defense we got good coverage here as an earthquake to run um earth power flash cannon gyro ball here we go ice runner to get rid of terrain as well we got screens we got pain split rapid spin 
It's gonna be one of our main rapid spinners along with uh, Coquavel you see here. And uh, let's see, we got spikes, which is fantastic. Toxic spikes, so we got both sets of spikes and we got stealth rocks as well. Volt switch for momentum, uh, thunder wave to hinder the Pokemon as well. It has a lot to work with. Uh, it's gonna be one of our main hazards user. I'd say probably our main one. Um, and it's gonna be probably our main hazard spinner as well. Besides a couple of Pokemon that might know defog as well i am looking at our notes here i think th a lot of things don't get defog anymore so um but it's mostly our two spinners to get rid of hazards here um and last but not least talk about hazards we got kelly kelly so nicely named her twice levani <laughs> kelly kelly being my first like female wrestling crush of all time also gets uh overcloak we'll probably be using that uh, especially since uh, I was talking about it earlier, but it does get st sticky webs. I want uh, something at the end because the amount of points I had left. Because originally I had um, I had Hitmon top in for the spinner, but I realized I'm like oh, I kind of want another um, water Pokemon that work with the rain team, and I wanted a better fighting type. So I am getting rid of Hitmon top to get Quabble, and then to last get uh, Fortress and leave Annie. And by that time I was still super surprised that uh, Fortress was taken, and I wanted another Steel type. Uh, because uh, Bronzong was taken as well uh, to be my main Shrek Grimmer. And Fortress, like I said, gets all the hazards out of the world. Levani, I mean, it's not fantastic. It's not base 92 speed is very good. His bulk isn't bad, and 103 attack is pretty decent as well. But in terms of physical attacking moves, it's pretty good. Like, it's got knockoff as well. It's got screens if we want to do that. Switch route to switch up item sword stance for setup synthesis for recovery. Triple axle as well is fantastic. Trailblaze, wedge of stab, and boost up our speed. I mean, it's going to be pretty decent, but mostly used for sticky webs. Overall, I feel very good about the roster. Uh, like I said, the, the one glaring thing is that it's very, very slow, and we're going to have to work with that, and a lot of other teams are going to have much more powerful, faster teams, and we're just going to have to work with our main slash trick room team, and we got to make it work. Again, I've only done a few other leagues before. I actually, by the time I'm recording this video, I actually just won my first ever league I've ever joined, the Waterman Draft League. Sometime down the line, I'll have to catch up on the um, uploading and editing those videos. There are a few out right now, but because I joined a few other leagues and life got busy, I haven't been able to publish the rest. But uh, you will see it and you'll see my victory down the road. Uh, victory road, wow. <laughs> Non-intentional pun, as you see here. But yeah, super excited. I think this is what season three i'm pretty sure this like this is season three of uh, uh of the d league but i'm super excited to join um happy part of this as well shout outs to uh, a lot of the mods and the mod team for having me in um making friends with a lot of people in the in the umpl which is awesome like nuggalo and banana thank you guys my homies and shout out to danny um i know a lot of things have been happening recently but just want to let you know you're my boy thanks for all the support Hope you're doing okay. And I actually got my boy Stegosaurus Rex, who was one of my main homies in the Watermelon League. Got him in this league. We're in the same division. I beat him in uh, quarterfinals of the Watermelon <laughs> playoffs. And uh, he wants his revenge. So I'll see you in week five, buddy. I like to thank those three, um, Banana, Nuglo, and Stego for helping me out, for helping me choose uh, some of my Pokemon. And get the Terrors uh, helped me decide with some Terror options. Um, you guys are such good homies and i'm happy to be in this league with you guys and you guys helped me for everything that i've been going through uh before like learning about draft and all that sort of stuff and uh, i hope to make everyone proud and i hope to have fun so uh thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoy the content and all the future umpl d league battles we'll be having on showdown uh make sure to like comment subscribe if you want if not no big deal this is again this whole process is mainly for me to have fun and just document my journey of the uh, pokemon draft league so if that's, uh, if that's something you want to watch and have on in the background, so be it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy all the future content. And let's go Tora Cats. Oski Wee Wee, Oski Wawa, Holy Mackinac, Tora Cats, Enumraw, baby. Let's fucking go.